So I really do want to make this video because I really like to do this. But if you're looking for a to-do list alternative or are looking to leave to do list, then this is the video to watch. So let's dive into a few to do list alternatives in this video. Welcome, my name is Francesco. I'm excited to bring you this video. Not really, actually. I like to do this. It's a really great to-do list application, great all-rounder. But if you are seriously in the hunt for one, then this will be the video for you. Now you can jump over to Tool Finder, search all the to-do list apps for your liking, just find the link in the description. But without further ado, let's just crack into these alternatives for Todoist. So first on my list is TickTick. -Tick. Now TickTick -Tick is really well known as a great budget friendly to do this application. And in itself, the application reflects to do this in a lot of ways, has a great way to manage today, inbox, and the next seven days. But it's also got some features like an embedded calendar application in premium that really does take it a lot further. So I'd recommend checking it out if you're a very visual person. And there's also a habit tracker in this application with much more detail, I think, into the mobile application experience with features than the likes of Todoist in my opinion, but gives you a great budget-friendly all-round to-do list experience. Not as good as Todoist in my opinion, but still really, really there if you're looking to save some bunk, but also looking to add a few more features to your lineup. Next up is Things 3. Now this is a stunning application. Better looking than Todoist in my opinion, it's the best minimal looking to-do list application on the market. And it's developed by some company called Cultured Code based in Germany and their design is fantastic. This application keeps a really unique feel and it really feels like it's tailored towards GTD in a lot of the way that it's structured. There are some small features like the ability to add a task to this evening, which separates it from today, a really nice addition. It doesn't have as many advanced abilities as I'd say, like filtering and labels that can really go a lot further, but it does have some good abilities when it comes to personal project management, allowing you to create lists that have deadlines and separate those lists using headers as well. It's a fantastic application, looks great, but it's very iOS centric, only available on Mac, iPad and iPhone. Microsoft To Do is up next, and if you're looking for a free To Do application that complements the basics, this is a good one. You can create lists, add your stuff to today, and you can even be able to share your list with other people. This is great for, in particular, students that have free accounts of Microsoft that they want to take advantage of whilst at university or college, but it's also got some nice abilities like suggestions that will allow you to get suggestions from all of the projects and lists you create, which is a great time saver. So Microsoft To Do, formerly Wunderlist, is a good option as a free, free option out there by Microsoft. Next up is Sorted 3. Again, another good one for students. This one is sort of like a budget version of Things 3. The application does look good, but it doesn't have as many gorgeous functions and detailed abilities like the likes of Todoist or even Things 3. But it does offer some nice abilities in premium for auto rescheduling. Something I really like because if you were to timestamp your tasks like 9am, 10am, 11am, then you can reorganize that and utilize the auto reschedule function. This is really nice and interactive, especially on mobile, and it's a really cool application for just that. If you wanna go deeper on it, we've actually got a profile over on Toolfinder. You can check that link out in the description below. Next up is Trello, a weird one to suggest, but a lot of people use Trello. My sister actually uses it to organize her lists, but it's a great way to incorporate visual lists as well. You create these columns that you can add tasks to, and the cards can go much deeper with the ability to add more custom fields, due dates, and even in the gold account, go much further with integrations. But this application is actually really popular for those who don't want anything too advanced when it comes to managing your to-do list, but keeping a simple column-based process that can be converted to calendar as well in the power up section. Next up is one that's been talked about quite a lot is AkiFlow. Now this is sort of a daily planner application, but if you're looking for something different, maybe something a bit more advanced in a sense, then AkiFlow could be great for that. It combines tasks and calendar and allows you to consolidate from other applications. So if you're somebody that wants to create their own experience for tasks, but doesn't want to neglect going to other productivity apps like Notion or ClickUp or even Gmail, then you can actually get them to be brought into AkiFlow, which is great time saver and something that a lot of people do like. Next up is Sensama. I actually used Sensama for about two or three years. I used Todoist for about nine years, Sensama in for about two or three years, and I'm back with Todoist for the last year or so. 
and I don't see moving necessarily. But Sansama itself is a really mindful approach to your task management. It's a little bit pricier, but as an application, it presents a great way to be able to organize stuff in calendar and also in a Kanban-like style. It also has some more mindful features where you can start your day out with Sansama and it recommends not to overload yourself for the day and pick the tasks that are much more collective. It's also got features like weekly objective, which allows you to keep focused on your objectives that are high level across the week. Motion is being talked a lot about, a bit like AkiFlow, it presents a way for you to manage your tasks and your calendar in one location, as well as your projects too. It has a project management ability where you can move into Kanban view and really go granular with table view as well. And it has an upgrade allowing you to connect your team to it called Motion for Teams. The application special feature is AI. It allows you to reschedule your tasks based on things that inputs that come in. And it's got a quite high level of task context and input, which allows you to really go detailed on the task. And naturally, the AI will reorganize the task based on its importance and value to the system or things that you've got going on, including calendar events, tasks that pop up. So this is a really interesting application and one that's growing in the market. Next up is MeisterTask. Now this is a little bit more of a team one, but you can use it as a solo user. And the application reminds me really of a combination of Trello and TickTick in a one place. It's got a really nice home view, which allows you to plan your week ahead, but also got some calendar abilities for planning in advance. But that column view is one of the nicest ones on the market. And finally, AnyDo. AnyDo presents a great simple to-do list application, really predominant on mobile, but it also offers a great way to view on desktop too. And it's got a clean design that a lot of people like with the ability to have calendar thrown in the mix there. So this is not necessarily as advanced as something like Todoist, but definitely much more advanced than something like Apple Reminders. A healthy middle ground that you might wanna just go for for the visuals if it's something that meets all your needs. Whew. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> Today we covered Todoist alternatives. We've got another video on Sansama alternatives and loads of alternatives, including Evernote, which you can find linked over on Toolfinder. If you're in the hunt for any of Todoist applications and you want to go a bit deeper on them, go over to Toolfinder. I'm not going to keep mentioning it. <laughs> you know now, I think, guys. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. Todoist is a really interesting application. There's no fault with it. If you've got Todoist and you're loving it, there's no need to check out all of these apps that we just mentioned. Enjoy using Todoist and stick with it as a one for you. So thank you very much, folks. I look forward to showing you more uh, productivity apps in the future if you're in the hunt for one. Thank you very much, and I'll see you very soon. Cheerio.